BMW and Mercedes-Benz are two of the most popular German-based car designers that make automobiles for people to drive and use. They both make unique cars and have standing identities. How do both of these companies compare to one another? Welcome to the Biz page. In this video we will be looking at both car companies and how they differ from each other. The comparison will be based around history and how the companies are currently doing. BMW will be discussed before the video interval and Mercedes-Benz will be discussed after the interval. If you haven't already, then be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more valuable content. Now without further ado, let's dive in. Let's start off by looking at the history of BMW. BMW's official founding date is 7 March 1916, when an aircraft engine manufacturer called Bayerisch Flugzeugwerk AG was created. In the year of 1922, this new company was renamed to Bayerisch Motorenwerk, which makes the acronym BMW. The name of BMW supposedly dates back to the year of 1913, when the original company used the name BMW, which in German appears as Rap Motorenwerk. The first product that was manufactured by BMW was a straight-six aircraft engine called the BMW IIIA. At the end of 1918 onwards, BMW remained in business trading by producing products such as motorcycle engines, farm equipment, household items and railway brakes. In 1923, the company created its first motorcycle, the BMW R32. Five years later in 1928, BMW became a car and vehicle manufacturer when it purchased Fahrzeugfabrik Eisenach. The first car sold under the BMW brand was a rebadged Dixie called the BMW 315. Going through to the 1930s, BMW expanded its automobile range into sports cars and larger luxury cars. Until the end of the 1930s, aircraft engines, motorcycles, and automobiles would be BMW's main products to make. During the 1940s, BMW concentrated on the production of aircraft engines. The making of motorcycles became a sideline and automobile manufacture temporarily stopped. The company survived financial issues by making pots, pans and bicycles. In the year of 1948, BMW restarted motorcycle manufacturing. In 1952, BMW resumed car production in Bavaria in with the launch of BMW 501 Luxury Saloon. In the mid-1950s BMW began to expand on their range of cars. This was done through the production of the cheaper Assetta microcar. Due to low sales of luxury cars and small profit margins from microcars, BMW was in a financial crisis. As a result of this the company was nearly taken over by rival Daimler-Benz, linked with Mercedes-Benz, in the year of 1959. Despite these harder times, investments from Herbert Quant and Harold Quant in the company resulted in BMW surviving and carrying on trading. The BMW 700 car was also released was successful in boosting the recovery. Throughout the 60s, 70s and 80s, BMW has been about to expand on the products that were being made and were releasing more and more variety of cars. This included the production of luxury sedans and coupes. Within the year of 1994, the company purchased the Rover Group. However, the company takeover did not go well and caused BMW losses in profit and finance. Going into the 21st century, BMW sold off most of the Rover brands, retaining only Mini and Rolls-Royce. Just before the entry into the new century, the company produced its first SUV-based model, which marked the company's entry into the SUV market. In the year of 2006, BMW started mass producing, producing turbocharged petrol engines. This led to most engines switching over to turbocharging over the following decade. The first hybrid car BMW manufactured was the 2010 BMW Active Hybrid 7 and BMW's first electric car was the BMW i3 City car which came out in the year of 2013. After years of gaining a reputation for sporting rear-wheel drive cars, BMW's first front-wheel drive car was the 2014 BMW 2 Series Active Tourer Multipurpose Vehicle MPV. In the year of 2019, BMW was able to generate a revenue of 104 billion euros or around 123 billion dollars. Are you gaining some insights so far? If you are, then be sure to leave a like on this video and visit the channel for more valuable content. 
Let's now take a look at the history of Mercedes-Benz. The Mercedes-Benz company is traced back to Carl Benz, who was a German engine designer. He created of the first internal combustion engine within a car. This was known as the Benz Patent Motorwagen and was financed by Bertha Benz's dowry in January of 1886. Engineer Gottlieb Daimler and engineer Wilhelm Maybach had a conversion of a stagecoach by the addition of a petrol engine that took place later within the year. In the year of 1901, the Mercedes automobile was put the market by Daimler Motor and Gesellschaft DMG. Emil Jelinek was a European automobile entrepreneur who worked with DMG and created the trademark in the year of 1902. Emil also named the 1901 Mercedes 35 horsepower after his daughter Mercedes Jelinek. Jelinek was a skilled businessman and marketing strategist who promoted, horseless, Daimler automobiles among the higher classes of society in his adopted home. At the time, his adopted home was a meeting place for the haute volé of France and Europe and mostly held meetings within the winter season. The customers that Jelinek had included the Rothschild family and other well-known people. But Jelinek's plans were able to expand. From the year of 1901, he was selling Mercedes cars in America as well as Europe. His clients included U.S. billionaires John D. Rockefeller, John Astor and J.P. Morgan. In the year of 1899, a race took place in Nice, France and Jelinek drove the pseudonym, Monsieur Mercedes, a way of hiding the competitor's real name. It was at this race that was considered the start of the Mercedes-Benz brand. In the year of 1901, the name, Mercedes, was registered by Daimler Motor and Gesellschaft DMG worldwide as a protected trademark. Fast forwarding to 1926, it was in this year where the first Mercedes brand vehicles were produced. The merger of Carl Benz's and Gottlieb Daimler's companies into the Daimler-Benz company also took place on 28 June of the same year. With the 1930s, Mercedes-Benz produced the 770 model and this car became quite popular within the 30s and 40s. The surviving models that still stand today have been sold at auctions to private buyers. One of the models is currently displayed at a historic museum in Ottawa, Ontario. The Pontiff's Popemobile has often been sourced from Mercedes-Benz. Fast forwarding to the year of 1955, Mercedes gained for fame when Sterling Moss and Peter Collins were victorious in the Sicilian road race of Targa Florio. The vehicle they drove was a Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR racing sports car, W196S. This victory was the achievement of the World Sports Car Championship for the Mercedes brand. The Mercedes brand has also been a success during the 1960s, 70s, 80s and the 90s. Just like their competitors BMW, they have also been able to design a line of luxury cars and other vehicles. Throughout the end of the 20th century and within the 21st century, Mercedes-Benz has introduced many technological and safety innovations that have later developed to be seen more throughout modernized vehicles that we see today. The brand of Mercedes-Benz has grown to be one of the best known and established automotive brands in the world. In November of 2019, Daimler AG announced that Mercedes-Benz would be spun off into a separate wholly owned subsidiary called Mercedes-Benz AG. This new minor company would manage the Mercedes-Benz's car and van business. It was within the year of 2019 where Mercedes-Benz was able to generate a revenue of around 172 billion euros or around 203 billion dollars. We can see that both of these companies have a unique history and have developed their own line of automobiles and other products related to the engineering industry. Based off of 2019 statistics, it seems that Mercedes-Benz is currently making more revenue than its competitor BMW. However, income for both companies will vary as the market changes and there may be some years where BMW will generate more revenue than Mercedes-Benz. I hope you have enjoyed learning about the history of both of these unique companies. Leave a comment below on what facts you have learned in this video and if you have ever driven a BMW or Mercedes-Benz vehicle. If you did enjoy this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the BizPage channel for more valuable content that is on the way.